There's a warning that a quarter of Britain's native mammals are at risk of extinction. Species under threat include wildcats, red squirrels and water voles. Conservationists say that the ongoing loss of habitat is making it harder for animals to survive and they're calling for urgent action to prevent their loss. Victoria Gill reports. Familiar characters that are becoming increasingly rare sights. While the UK is a natural home for dozens of mammals, including red squirrels, dormice and hedgehogs, many of those species are now in danger of disappearing. This first red list of threatened species, put together by the conservation charity the Mammal Society, has shown that a quarter of all the UK's native mammals are under threat of extinction. So what we've done is a really comprehensive review of all the evidence we have available on things like how big the populations are or how isolated those populations are. We've drawn all that together and it's come up with this list of 11 of our 47 native species being classified as threatened imminently. And what this is clearly saying is we need to be acting right now. We don't, we can't carry on with the current trajectory. Different animals face different threats. The now critically endangered Scottish wildcat population hasn't recovered from decades of persecution. For the red squirrel, disease and competition from the introduced grey squirrels has driven its decline. But something conservation scientists agree on is that we need to leave more wild space for these species to recover. There are pockets of good habitat, like this red squirrel reserve in Formby, but that's exactly what this is. This is an isolated pocket of good natural habitat for red squirrels. And what conservationists say we need is for that to be a connected network of wild space across the landscape. Here's my little foxy loxy. During lockdown, many people shared pictures and video on social media of animal encounters in quite urban settings. Now, scientists say, we need to find sustainable ways to share our environments with nature. Victoria Gill, BBC News.